One in 54 children in the U.S. diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, and increasingly more adults are realizing that they too fall into the spectrum. CBS 2's Jessica Moore takes a look at how an actor's public admission is reigniting the conversation around autism. Look closer. Prison break actor Wentworth Miller just added another title to his bio, autistic. Miller announced his adult diagnosis on Instagram yesterday, saying, autism is central to who I am. I wouldn't change it. According to the CDC, roughly 5.4 million adults, roughly 2.2% of the total U.S. population, have autism. How common is it for someone to be diagnosed as an adult as being on the spectrum? It's becoming more frequent every single day. At two and a half, Dr. Kerry Magro was completely nonverbal. At 11, his parents told him he had been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. I started understanding more about my quirks and my strengths and my challenges that accompanied my autism diagnosis. Magro is now an accomplished public speaker, author, and autism advocate. To get the diagnosis, as an adult, it's it's almost a gift. Gary Whiteson runs POAC, one of the largest autism parent groups in the country. His 27-year-old son, Chris, is also on the spectrum. It's not like a 30-year-old can get the diagnosis and qualify for government services, but can they still get help and just fill in the pieces where, okay, maybe that's why I struggle with that. Whiteson says celebrities like Miller are key to changing the outlook for adults on the autism spectrum. It doesn't mean that you can't achieve the, the pinnacle of success. What kind of treatments are available when someone is diagnosed later in life? Unfortunately today, there's not a lot I hear from so many families who are, are put on wait list looking for support services. Still, Magro has words of wisdom for adults on the spectrum and urges those who think they might be to get diagnosed as soon as possible. The most important thing to realize is you are not alone. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. And this reminder from doctors that, everyone, that autism is a spectrum disorder, meaning everyone diagnosed will have different symptoms that vary in intensity.